is equal to sin t and y is equal to sin pt now you prove that 1 minus x square yn plus 2 minus 2n plus 1 into x y n plus 1 plus p square minus n square y n equal to 0 you prove that Okay, so we required y is equal to. So in this question, x is equal to y is equal to. So we have we required only y function y is equal to x is given sine t and y is also given y is equal to sine p t. We only required one function y is equal to something t is there. Okay, sine p t. Now x is equal to sine t or t is equal to sine inverse x now t substitute substitute here therefore y is equal to sine of p into sine inverse x only one function required now prove that y n plus 2 n plus 2 differentiate y two times then after using Leibniz theorem now you differentiate with respect to x y1 sin become cos cos of p sin inverse x p constant sin inverse x is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x squared take left hand side square root of 1 minus x squared into y1 equal to p into cos of p sin inverse x again a differentiate with respect to x product rule better use product rule square root of 1 minus x square y1 differentiate y2 plus again this one is differentiate 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square 2 into 1 upon 1 minus x square again minus x square is minus 2x into y1 as it is equal to p is a constant differentiation of cos is minus sign minus sine of p into sine inverse x again p is constant sine inverse x is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square this part shift left hand side multiply both the terms root of root means it is only remaining 1 minus x square y2 2 to cancel then again will come this side root root cancel minus x y1 is remaining minus x into y1 pp minus p square into sine of p sine inverse x okay now this part is given y now therefore 1 minus x square y2 minus x y1 p square y minus p square y shift left hand side plus p square y equal to 0 ok now now differentiate so differentiate with respect to x n times n time means d raised to n 1 minus x square y2 minus d raised to n x y1 plus p square is constant d raised to n y equal to 0 ok now you apply Leibniz theorem so we have Leibniz theorem this is a Leibniz theorem Okay, plus one. So using Leibniz theorem, only first one. This is the first one applying Leibniz theorem. Therefore, one minus x square as it is and v n. So y two 
y n plus 2 plus n c 1 differentiate 1 minus x square it is a minus 2 x v n minus 1 means one step back n plus 1 again n c 2 this one u 2 means differentiate again minus 2 y n next is not possible first term is over minus now second one x y 1 so x y n plus 1 plus n c 1 and x become 1 after differentiate y n last one is this term last one plus p square y n equal to 0 direct right it 1 minus x square y n plus 2 n c 1 means ok now using Leibniz theorem so 1 minus x square y n plus 2 and n into n c 1 is a n minus 2 x y n plus n y n plus 1 and n minus 2 is a n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial is 1 into 2 2 only minus 2 y n open the bracket minus x y n plus 1 and again minus n c 1 is n y n and this plus p square y equal to 0 y n equal to 0 so first term is as it is no change as it is and minus 2 n x y n plus 1 open it n into n into minus y n minus n square y n n into minus 1 so minus y n plus n y n minus x y n plus 1 and minus n y n plus p square y n equal to 0 plus minus get cancel ok first one is term is same no change and x y n plus 1 x y n plus 1 minus sign take common inside is 2 n plus 1 these two terms remaining y n is common p square minus n square y n equal to 0 ok so next example is if cos inverse of y by b equal to log of x by n whole raised to n and prove that x square y n plus 2 plus 2 n plus 1 x y n plus 1 plus 2 n square y n equal to 0 okay now we required this part x square y n plus 2 differentiate y two times and use Leibniz theorem so differentiate y two times we required y okay so we have is a given let's say as it is once again We required y is equal to differentiate two times and use the Leibniz theorem. Cos inverse shift right hand side means y by b is equal to cos of log of x by n hold us to n. Okay, then b is multiply right hand side y is equal to b into cos of. Now log property, you know the log property log x as to n equal to n log x ok now same using log property n into log of x by n now you differentiate differentiate with respect to x y1 is equal to b is a constant as it is differentiation of cos is minus sign minus sine of n log x by n and take again in differentiate inside the bracket so n is as it is okay now log of x differentiation of log of x is 1 by x x means x by n it is 1 upon x by n into again x by n differentiate 1 by n Okay, n n cancel. Y1 is equal to 
माइनस बी इंटू साइन ऑफ एन लॉग ऑफ एक्स बाय एन एंड वन अपॉन एक्स बाय एन मीन्स एन बाय एक्स दिस एक्स टू टेक लेफ्ट हैंड साइड मीन्स मल्टीप्लाई एक्स वाई वन बैटर इज यूजिंग प्रोडक्ट रूल नेक्स्ट स्टेप एक्स वाई वन इक्वल टू माइनस बी माइनस एन बी ओके टेक एन बी साइन ऑफ एन लॉग ऑफ एक्स बाय एन ओके वन टाइम अगेन यू डिफ्रेंसिएट again differentiate with respect to x here it is a product rule x as it is differentiated by 1 become y2 plus so y1 as it is differentiation of x is 1 only means x y2 plus y1 equal to minus n b constant differentiation of sin is cos cos of n log of x by n Again inside the bracket, n is a constant as it is, and log differentiate one upon x by n. Again x by n differentiate is a one by n. Y n cancel. X y two plus y one equal to and uh, minus y n b cos of y n log of x by n. Into one upon x by n means n by x. This x you multiply both the terms. That means become x square y two plus x y one equal to minus n into n n square b cos of n log of x by n. Okay. Now. This part is b to this one is a y. Now therefore, x square y two plus x y one minus n square y shift left hand side so plus n square y equal to zero. Now you differentiate. n times by using leibniz theorem okay now differentiate uh, it mentioned one differentiate one with respect to x n times n times means d raised to n x square y2 plus d raised to n x y one n square is constant d raised to n y equal to zero. Now we have Leibniz theorem d raised to n u v is equal to u v n plus n c one u one v n minus one plus u two v n minus sorry sorry n c two. Right, it is a n c two into u two v n minus one plus so on v n minus one v n minus two. Okay, n minus one n minus two n minus three like this u u one u two u three continue v n v n minus one v n minus two v n minus three is continue. Okay, next. So this Leibniz theorem we apply each term. Now, first one. So, x square v n plus one is a y n plus two plus n c one n c one differentiate x square is two x y n plus one plus n c two and n c two u two again differentiate two is a two y n plus second one. X and y n plus one. Next plus n c one. U one means differentiate x one and y n. 
plus next is not possible constant these two next term is 0 n square so y n equal to 0 very simple x square y n plus 2 plus n c 1 n only 2 x y n plus 1 plus n c 2 n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial means 2 only into 2 y n x y n plus 1 plus n c 1 n only y n plus n square y n equal to 0 ok now therefore x x square y n plus 2 and x y 1 x y n plus 1 is common plus 2 n plus 1 x y n plus 1 and next step is uh, this is 2 is 0 uh, 2 to cancel n into n into y n means plus n square y n n into minus 1 into y n minus n y n plus n y n next is a, a plus n square y n remaining plus minus sign plus sign get cancelled Therefore, x square y n plus 2 plus 2 n plus 1 into x y n plus 1 and it is a 2 times plus 2 into n square y n equal to 0. So, this is a required solution.